Hey, what is up? It's Xtalio, and today I'm just going to be talking about um, digitizer slash LCD replacement for the iPod Touch 2G, 3G, and uh, even 4G. Um, this applies to pretty much all different types of devices, but um, with this particular one, it was the digitizer that was the issue. Um, the glass was actually cracked too, so I had to replace that. Um, I have not installed it all the way yet. Um, I've only... Um, just connected the connector right here. And uh, the LCD I did also replace just because the old one was kind of scratched, which actually I kind of did, so <laughs> um, I just replaced that anyway. Um, this is actually not even my iPod, it's just one of my family members that um, I'm just doing it for just because. But anyway, um, I'm just talking about how to test your digitizer before installing so you don't waste a bunch of time and possibly mess up your. Um, your gasket slash uh, mid frame um, if you have to take it back out because um, they are a bitch to take out and very easy to break and um, I ordered this as a full front assembly kit um, with the button and everything already attached because uh, it just looks better that way but um, what you want to do to test it and this iPod is actually on oh, my lost battery Never mind. Yeah, it died. Anyway, uh, what you want to do is, uh, <laughs> it just barely, it was really just barely on, but had barely any battery. But what you want to do is you want to have, a, of course, the LCD connected, which uh, you have to take the plate under the LCD out and then reconnect this little connector. Make sure that's connected. And then um, take your uh, digitizer connection or your front cable connection and connect it right here and uh, just make sure everything's down when I took this off originally there was corrosion under there and I might need to do a little bit of water damage repair in a minute and, uh, I'll have to take the LCD back out <laughs> but um, yeah just make sure that's connected turn your iPod on and uh, just kind of test the digitizer you do not have to push this all the way down to test it just uh, keep it out so you don't waste a bunch of time like I said earlier and then just kind of test it, make sure everything works. If anything works just fine, you can just simply push it down. Or, um, but I'm on uh, cellular devices or other media devices, it may be a little bit easier to disassemble it. Uh, this one, you just have to take like an X-Acto knife or something really flat and then kind of pry out little, uh, these little guys right here, clips. But anyway, uh, that's all this video is about, is about, uh, how to properly test something. Um, with uh, the iPhone 4, I, don't, I haven't taken this apart, this is my iPhone. Um, what you want to do with it completely disassembled, you do not have to replace the whole digitizer LCD assembly just to, um, just to test a new one out. Um, you can just uh, leave it set down with everything still connected. Uh, take the um, the plate right here at the top with the five screws in it. Take that off. Disconnect the LCD and the digitizer. Um, take your battery, reconnect it. Just pop it on there. You don't need to screw anything down. Just pop it on there. And then um, take your uh, front assembly for your uh, iPhone 4. And just connect the new ones. kind of want to fold the old ones back. and You can probably even cut those. It doesn't even matter. Because uh, if um, your front assembly is cracked, you're replacing it anyway, so you can just go ahead and cut those, get those out of the way. But um, if it's if you're just doing a color conversion, just kind of be careful when you fold them back so you don't well, tear them or break them. Then put the cables to the new ones so that you can just test that. Turn your device on and then like hold those two down with one finger and then... Uh, Take your new one and then just make sure the LCD looks good, make sure the touchscreen works, everything. But um, that's just a quick note on that. But other than that, uh, this video is not really about anything else. Um, this is uh, Six Talio. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Six Talio. And um, yeah. Okay, see ya.